Greetings. Cisco here, also known as Dominic Hadley or The Tomo, which is my YouTube channel. And this is my next review. I will be reviewing the Danube class runabout. And I may also show you several other shuttles, shuttlecraft, and small vessels, which will apply to Starfleet and the STC. Now, as you can see, this is very, this is a lot smaller than the usual starships. And, yeah. It's very. Sh it's a long-range vessel. It travels about warp eight, I think. These small vessels. Um, as you can see, the exterior is very detailed. I added a lot of detail to the exterior. Um, yeah, this runabout is called the USS Barsing Say. Some of you might recognise that name. It is from Avatar: The Legend of Aang. It is one of the cities the Earth Kingdom cities. My first officer loves that series, Avatar The Last... Uh, well, The Legend of Aang or The Last Ever really. Similar series. But yeah, as that's also part of our roleplay, uh, a fantasy of the science fiction fantasy roleplay, that name applies to it. So, yes, take a look at this. A lot of detail, that's... there's another registry there, then a cells, that's a lot of detail those bizarre collectors, grills, uh, missile grills, just to warp and everything, deflectors there, the uh, sensor pod or in some cases the weapons pod, as you can see here these, you can click these, they're uh, photon torpedo launchers. And yeah, of course, yeah. Um, it's a very good ship, I have to say. Uh, oh, these little impulse engines. Oh, sorry. Impulse engines are back there. You can also see inside the the um, ship into the interior, which is I'll show you that in a minute. Navigational lights, aft phaser bank there. Also got phaser banks here, 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 and here. For another register there, and the affiliation there. So, oh, and this this little bit here. That's actually the warp hatch. There's a micro warp core inside there. It's, well, the smaller it is, the slower the ship really, so. Yes, this is it. This is the uh, cockpit. And what we have here is the shield control, well, no, the warp control here. And of course, that's basically, I'll, sh I'll show you that before the warp. And it works the same as the others. Creates a field around the ship. And of course, you enter warp. And yeah, very very good system that is. We use that a lot in our ships. Oh, and if you're wondering what that is down there, that's the uh, the USS Galaxy in the dry dock. And uh, this dry dock didn't take me long to build. It's got lightning, well light to shine the ship. Well, lighten the ship up, so make it visible when undergoing maintenance, etc. And of course, we have a we have a planet. Well a, a so, well, a system here with the sun and the planet there orbiting. Just just to give it a proper realistic effect to this review. I, I like to have a nice realistic effect, you know. Anyway, let's let's have a look around this little runabout. Um, transporter here, a few consoles, very nice, comfortable chairs. I mean, the ones before the, were very uncomfortable. I'm sure you wouldn't want to sit on those in the game. So, yeah. Um, oh, here's the plaque. USS Barsing Say, Starship number NCC 70309. I actually got that uh, uh, Starship number from an actual star date, which, um, well, 09, that's 2009 or 2409. That's actually the date of a very important part of history, but of course that is classified, I'm afraid, so I won't go into that. <laughs> Some officers know about that, but yeah. Um, yeah. In service to Starfleet Torture Command, Captain Sisko's personal runabout course. STC commissioned Stardate 030810, that's 24010 or 2010, which is the actual date it was built, in August 3rd. And that down there is actually a quote from Avatar, uh, The Legend of Aang, from Eero, where he says, or Iroh, um, Uncle Iroh, which is uh, 
Um, oh, what's his name? Why, why did I forget his name? It's, um... Zara... Oh, why did I forget his name? <laughs> it's, uh, the one who is trying to kill the Avatar. Um, Zuko, Zuko, that was it. Why did I forget that name? Zuko, Zuko's uncle, yeah. And this is what he says, true wisdom is found within the heart. And that's an actual phrase he says. I like that phrase. I mean, I've seen all the Avatar series, thanks to James. Well, all the Avatar box sets. He let me borrow them. Good series. I mean, you should watch them all those fa for all those fantasy fans. I mean, it does. It really does blend in well with uh, the STC science fiction. So, yeah, that's the plaque. And um, over here we have the uh, L cars computer with basic runabout systems so you can actually see what it's got all the systems and everything where everything actually is in relative to what you can see in the actual hull so yeah oh of course it's got its uh, little things like I showed you on the boy on the, on the intrepid class yesterday on the other on the second review I did with this being my third review of course with the, the shuttles and small vessels Length thirty twenty three point one meters, beam thirteen point seven meters. It's very, very as you can see it's very small according to this. Height five point four meters, mass one five eight point seven megatons. That is quite heavy, of course. With the intrepid class and the galaxy class being even more heavier, of course. Something million ton megatons, gosh. Very, very heavy. You'd find it hard to believe it's actually landing and its thrusters being that strong so yes very very small ship and I'd say this runabout would be about the size of two buses put together in front of each other and that's that's quite big if you if you I have to say but yeah moving on uh, the next room it's empty it's empty but this is just basically a storage space for um it's got a few computers, I mean for like collecting samples from planets, nice little windows either side there. Uh, through here, sleeping quarters with bunks, there's one under here which you can go in and sleep for tired crew members, I mean it fits four but of course runabout's basically built for a small crew anyway so yeah, it's handy. Uh, here is the science lab and sick bay. Of course, they're fit into two because uh, it's uh, very small in this runabout. So yeah, there's got some fleet comparison chart there, and medical bed there with the systems and everything. Um, and back here is the uh, the um, observation lounge and crew meeting room and briefing room, basically with little replicator food slot there, um, computers either side, little console computer there, with nice a nice view out the back of the ship, basically. So, oh yeah, you can see that's, that's sun on that planet now. It looks really good. <laughs> um, yeah, so, oh, so yeah, that's, that's basically, if you look out these side windows here, you can actually see them cell and part of the impulse engine there, so. Mm. And of course, I like our conference tables to have our logo on it, our affiliation, Starfleet Torture Command. I'll say again, we will be having another review on based completely on Starfleet Torture Command, the ships all together, the crew, what we do, how we do it, basically everything, loads of things like that. But anyway, heading back to the cockpit. Of course, it would only take five seconds to get from each end, so. Yes, I'll show you the systems now. Um, over here we have the shield control, deflector shields. You activate that. That puts a field around the ship, protecting it. Of course, we don't have these on the other ships due to the size and the annoying prim limit, which won't allow us to make anything larger than this, this, this size ship here. But I tell you, it's getting bigger at least, but I guess we'll have to wait. So. Yeah, and to deactivate this, of course, you'd use the new DRESER system saying computer um, lower shields and momentarily voila. 
it lowers. So there we go. And of course I've showed you the warp drive tractor beam. I didn't actually show you the tractor beam on the other two reviews, but here we go. Uh, for this one, okay, you activate. There it is. It's actually a beam which reses. I might actually add a special positioner reser on the room reser scripts in this so it does put it in a proper position. But anyway, yeah, what you do, you have to edit this and move it around to put it in the right position. Of course, you can link it up to an emitter to make it look realistic. Uh, rotate it so it looks as if it's locking onto an object, say the dry dock down there. Of course, 64 meters is the limit of the length. You can make prims on this annoyingly, but it might get longer. But you can extend it by copying the prim onto the part there. And yeah, it looks like you're actually tractoring the dry dock there, which is pretty cool. We do that effect a lot. And it, it, yeah, it, it is beneficial. We can add scripts to it so it moves with the ship, and of course the other ship, so it moves with the runabout. So yeah, that's that. Uh, so yeah, that's the runabout, and to be honest, it really didn't take long to build. It only took about a day or two, to be honest, this, believe it or not. I mean, it's very detailed. It did take a few upgrades after, however, but um, yeah, it's a good ship. And of course, it's got the, the, the new phaser system and everything. Right, what I'll do now is uh, I've got a few other shuttles I want to show you that I've built. Um, of course everything I'm showing you is built by me, otherwise I'd be doing someone else's reviews, which would be a bit silly. Um, okay, right, this is new, it's the type, well it's a refit of the Type 15 shuttle build I did. I'll raise it on top of the dry dock here, so because it's a nice open space. Alright, I've got two shuttles here, well three, and I'll raise the first one which I did, which is the, um, Shuttle number five, let the textures res. It's called Megami. This uh, shuttle of the USS Galaxy NCC 70637. Yeah, shuttle number five. Megami, the name. Okay, I got that from Shin Megami Tensei, which is more commonly known as Mega Ten. It's a, it's a fantasy game. Some of you might know it. I know my uh, um, acting first officer does, because apparently. He was one of the first beta testers, Rico Mayer. And um, it is a good game. Fantasy Basics. It's a bit, little bit like Final Fantasy, if any of you like that game, uh, those games. I like them. I've been trying to find number 8, which I've got somewhere PS on PS1. But I, I might as well download it on PS3 and so play it there. And number 7. My uh, Chief of Tactical keeps bugging me to play them. So, yeah, I've got to play them. I'm going to play them soon. <laughs> but, yeah, they're good. And, anyway, this, this is the shuttle. As you can see, uh, doors open, the sound effect and everything, uh, lights inside, computers. It only seats two. Uh, well, you can believe that because uh, it is quite small. It's about the size of a, a car, to be honest. A small car. Well, yeah, about the size of a, a, a car. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's got storage space in the back there you can, you can put in there. Put little samples from planets and things like that in there. It's got a little computer display there, like we have on every ship and shuttle. And yeah, nice, nice glow in the the uh, engines and everything. So yeah, that, that's the Type 15 shuttle right there. So uh, what else do I have? Um, I mean, there's a, there's a wide range of shuttles I have, but most of them, I the most of the ones I use is uh, built by someone else called his name is um, S V Andre Baxton. I used to work with him on the show, the USS Shogun, which is a UFS ship I worked on last year, but sadly I got kicked off of it because of uh, issues on June with the STC. Cause they, they didn't like the STC. I don't know why. It's just it's just arrogance, things like that. You know, it gets a bit silly to be honest. I mean, James knows that. He he had a word with one of the UFS idiots. So yeah, they didn't like that. So. Her name was Jardia Trellis. She was a she was annoying, very very annoying. She's the she's responsible for the trouble with the UFS, but good. It's good now that we got it sorted. So yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Um, anyway, next shuttle uh, or small vessel, which I have. In fact, 
I think that's it for the moment. I mean, I've got other shuttles. I mean, I've got the Type Type 11 shuttlecraft. I mean, it's. I'll be honest, it's not actually the best at the moment. It yeah, it's got the old hull. And it does look very old, so I need to refit that. To be honest, rebuild that. Um, I'm going to refit the Type 7 shuttlecraft, which some of you might recognise from Star Trek: The Next Generation series. The uh, it's very very uh, commonly used on that ship. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm going to refit that. It's a good shuttle. So yeah, that, that's it. That, that, that's the. Uh, that's. I was meant to show you that when I was on the when I was doing the Gal the USS Galaxy review, but anyway, here it is. That's that's what it, that's how small it is compared to the actual ship. <laughs> but well, shuttles, small shuttles. I mean, I, I showed you the yacht when I did the uh, USS Galaxy. Of course, that was with it because it's attachable with it. So yeah, that, that's that's the uh, Type 15 shuttle. So yeah, that's that's it. That's basically our little shuttles, which they're very, very handy. We use them a lot on small missions or big missions, which require small ships. Just like in a Star Trek Online, you can get missions. I mean, if, if any of you have played that, I know some of my officers have played it. Uh, Commander Megatron and Rico, they've played Star Trek Online. Good game. Um, yeah, you have little missions where you can use runabouts and small shuttles and things like that. It's, it's a fun game. Some of you should play it. Well, ev all of you should play it. Really. If you're a huge Trekkie like me, of course. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. That is the Danube class runabout USS Barsing Say NCC 70309. And of course, again, my. Well, yeah, my next review. Oh, um, there's Commander Megatron's jo decided to join me. Seems to be in every review of mine so far, so <laughs> yeah. Um, my next review should be on well, it, it next one should be on uh, the STC and basically the crew, the ships all together, things like that. So, uh, yeah, um, there's I'll, I'll add some website and Wikipedia links for you to have a look at on the uh, description, just like I did in the last review, so you can have a look at that. So uh, yeah, have a nice day and live long and prosper.